Hi, hello, uh, friends. Uh, today we can see the topic on crop production technology of forage or fodder per millet. You can see the first one uh, botanical name of uh, fodder per millet that is Penicetum glaucum. Family belongs to that is the gramine and then uh, origin of fodder uh, per millet that is from Africa. Then you can see the next one that is uses of forage per millet uh, as a fodder. Uh, the fodder per millet is also known as the spikelet uh, millet, then African millet or cattail millets. Then it is a quick growing and short duration uh, crop. Uh, it is a nutritious and palatable and can feed as a green, dry or as a con conserved fodder in the con uh, form of the silage or hay. And it is an outstanding summer growing fodder crop for uh, dry farming areas due to high tillering, drought, uh, drought tolerance, heat tolerance, high photosynthetic efficiency, versatile adaptation to soil types. And it has highest potential of the green biomass and dry matter production. In crude protein contained at flowering is, uh, is high as 50, 15%. In harvest cut at early flowering stage contained 6.8 to 12.8% uh, crude protein, then 0 0.9 to 1.8% the, uh, uh, the fiber, then 29, point, uh, 29 to 34% crude fiber. In 41, point, uh, 41 to 52% the NAP, then 0.29 to 0.69% calcium and 0.47 to 0.84% phosphorus. Uh, this is the nutritional uh, uh, content or new specific nutrient content in the fodder uh, per millet uh, according to Goswami and his co-worker 1970. Then it survives well in the condition of soil moisture trees and performs better than the swargan. The toxicity, as a Goswami as, uh, and his co worker 1950 reported 1.19 to 2.06 percent uh, oxalic acid in the dry matter in present uh, or accumulated in the uh, forage per millet. However, no if, uh, harmful effect is reported so far. The herbage can, however, it can be fed with the calcium rich legumes like, uh, with the calcium rich uh, legumes like cowpea, lucerne, clostridium, or with the seeds of gram or the groundnut cake to counteract the effects of the uh, oxalate toxicity and the crop at flowering has very little oxalate content than the uh, grain growth stage. Then uh, alternatively 15 to 20 gram of dicalcium phosphate may be added uh, to the rations to avoid the tox uh, toxic effect or toxicity. In ecology conditions, the soil requirement for the cultivation of fodder per millet, it can grow the well on the earlier sandy soils to red or uh, medium black soils, the soils should be well drained, then acid, uh, acid, uh, acidic alkali and the uh, low lying areas should be avoided for the cultivation of forage or fodder per millet and marginal soils with low soil fertility also suitable for the cultivation of forage per millet and pH range should be 6.5 to 7.5. In climate, the fodder per millet, uh, per millet can uh, tolerate minimum temperature of about 10 degrees Celsius and the maximum of uh, 45 degrees Celsius and it requires 600 to 900 mm rainfall during the uh, entire growing season and optimum temperature varying from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius are ideal for uh, its growth. Then field preparation, uh, one plowing followed by two, two, uh, two harrowing operations or crosswise operations uh, and the plankings are uh, sufficient to get the good seed bed that is a uh, Fine seed bed is ideal for cultivation of the forage vermilion and the crop cannot tolerate uh, water log or long water stagnation hence the good drainage facility is an important also, or, also the land should be leveled uh, before the sowing operation. The next one the varieties the popular varieties of fodder vermilion that is PSB 10, PSB 12 then Jain Bajra, Rajkot 674, Rajko then MB 72. These are the photographs of Jain Bajra in the Rajko, then Rajko, Rajko 674. Then uh, seeds and sowing, the seeds required for the cultivation of fodder, for forage or the fodder per millet or, uh, per hectare that is it requires 20-25 kg per hectare and spacing required that is 25 by 10 or 30 by 15 centimeter and the sowing time during Kharif uh, season that is June to July and during summer March to April and sowing depth that is 1.5 to 2 centimeter because seeds are uh, per, because the uh, per minute seeds are very small in size. The sowing method that is popular one that is broadcasting and the seed treatment before sowing fodder per millet grains are treated with the fungicide like thyram or captain at the rate of 3 gram per kg of 
the seed helps to prevent seed as well as soil borne diseases. Then seeds are also treated with the biofertilizer like azotobacter at the rate of 25 gram per kg. Um, the seed helps to enhance the nitrogen fixation by non-symbiotically also improve the germination of the seed. Mm, next one the uh, manures and fertilizers, uh, especially the uh, in uh, or the nutrient management for the forage spermulet manures dose that is 10 tons of FOM or compost per hectare should be applied uh, during final land preparation or before one month of sowing. And the recommended dose of fertilizer that is 50, 30, 30 kg NPK per hectare, that is half dose of nitrogen and entire dose of PNK should be applied at the time of sowing and remaining half dose of nitrogen should be applied at the grand growth stage. Next one the water management or irrigation requirement. The fodder uh, uh, permulate uh, sown uh, in the month of July uh, or the early uh, uh, sown in the, the uh, rainy season start may also requires one to irrigations so depending on the distribution of rain. Or if rains are received uh, uh, properly, then there is no need of irrigation. But sometimes rains are delayed, then you should apply the irrigations and uh, hardly it requires only one irrigation. Then for summer sown uh, fodder permulate crop requires 4 to 5 irrigations as due to the high UFW demands. Uh, next one the weed management. Uh, the fodder permulate suffers due to weed uh, growth in early growth stage that 25-30 days. During this period crop should be free from the weeds or better plant stand and subsequent growth. But uh, as a uh, fodder crops, it requires uh, does not require any uh, hand weeding or the hoeing operations because uh, here the biomass uh, yield is very important than the economic. And then also uh, the herbicide is also not recommended as weed control in the forage or fodder crops due to the green biomass are as a part of uh, feeding for the livestock. Next one the pest and disease. Fuel billet is attacked by a number of insect pests and disease uh, pathogens. There is argot, downy mildew, smut are the most common diseases. And the uh, pests like the shoot fly, stem borer, uh, and then uh, ping borer are the pests. Uh, but, uh, but, in, as a grow, but it is uh, grown as a fodder, it uh, does not uh, require any spray like fungicide or the pesticides. Uh, uh, then, uh, for better, for avoiding this uh, disease and pest attack, the clean cultivation, healthy use of the seed, the seed treatment are the better option for the as a preventive measure for against pest and disease. The next one, the harvesting and yield. The crop of the uh, of the per millet crop <coughs> is ready for harvesting or uh, should be harvested at the boot leaf stage or immediately after the few plants are have the flower. The harvesting should not be delayed beyond that is 50 50 percent. Flowering as crude protein decreases and the crude fiber increases. In case of the multi cut uh, management, the first cut is taken at boot leaf stage and the subsequently at the interval of 35 to 40 days uh, should cut, uh, follow the second cut. As the total number of cuttings obtained from this uh, fodder permit that is 3 to uh, 4, and the yield of uh, especially the green biomass yield obtained from forage. Per millet, that is 350 to 400 quintals per hectare and under multi-cut uh, multi management or the varieties yield of the biomass uh, is obtained that is 700 quintals per hectare. This is today's uh, topic about the crop production technology of forage or for per millet. Thank you.